I didn't want it just to be a film idea that I'm telling someone over drinks. I wanted it to be like, this is my idea and this is going to happen and I want you to be involved. Hi, my name's Vincent Bernard and I'd like to tell you about my new film project, Blood on the Leaves. We're sitting in his living room and he's like, man, I have this really cool idea for a movie. Now, I wrote the script for this film right after completing my first feature, Blue Card. So what's Blood on the Leaves about? Well, it's a dramatic survival film, set in the middle of the... You know what? Why don't I just show you? The film revolves around a bow hunter who discovers a city boy, unconscious, leg trapped under a fallen maple tree. And then he explains like the basic premise of it. It changed a little bit over, over the period of time, but then I didn't hear anything about it again for like a year. Every filmmaker has a million ideas, I feel like, and you know, we don't all write them down too, but yeah, I, your first feature film, that's like a big, that's a big thing. You know, you gotta pick the right one. And I didn't wanna wait for $300,000 to fall down on my lap. You know, I don't want to wait for permission. I don't want people to tell me what story I should tell. So I think with Blood on the Leaves, when I wrote the script, I kept in mind, I want to make this. I hope you find the story as intriguing as I do. I went to Pittsburgh. I'm working on all these like indie films and like uh, promo videos, music videos or whatever in Pittsburgh. And I get an email from Vince, this big long email that says like, hey, I want you to work on this project with me. I finally finished uh, Blood, on the Blood on the Leaves script. I put together this business plan. It was like a marketing plan. I actually have it right here. Yeah, this guy, I made this. And I went to Craig first, uh, the, my producer, my producing partner, and I showed him this. And uh, I think he knew I was serious about making it at that point. He's like, oh, he has a binder. So I read it, and he had the, uh, the script there, and I had to go to work in like 20 minutes. And I opened it up, and I'm not a big reader, but I sat there and read the, I like power read the entire script, because I just, I, like one page led to another, led to another, led to another, and I was like, okay, this movie, like, we have to make this. I realized that you need to write what is available to you to a certain extent, but you always want to challenge yourself. Uh, so. The film takes place mostly in the woods, so that was a huge jumping off point. What kind of story can I tell with a small cast in the woods? Because I'm from a uh, 2,000 people town in Pennsylvania. The city is like, or the city. The town I'm from is like accidentally was dropped in the woods, it seems like. So I know this setting. We lived in such a small town and no one really was into movies as much as me. It was a lot of fun. Yep, yep. My wife shaved her mustache. No way! Yeah. Man! Yeah, it was pretty sweet. She looks really ugly now. Yeah, she does. <laughs> Where are you, you piece of shit? Fred McGriff, age 16. I've been playing basketball for 17 years. First really significant project that I ever did was called the middle of somewhere. It was basically just me and two of my friends, and kind of like a day in the life of two teenagers. Diamond on a ring. That's, Do you that's like a diamond it? ring. Oh my gosh. Yes. Thank you. <gasps> you know, <laughs> it's hilarious. I actually came over here to break up with you. <laughs> well, I'm glad you. <laughs> Wait. What? Oh, and Robbie? The parents made it out too.
finally go, and now you're you have a destination, and it's the tarp at that point. Narratively, coming from doing like short films and everything, it's a really interesting step up to go to feature films because um, I don't know, logistically, it's just like a whole nother beast. You're kind of convincing yourself that it's going to work. And then articulating that in such a way that you can show that and share that with other people that are either giving you money and jumping on board as an investor or giving you these resources or just devoting their time and effort and being able to take that piece to them and say, you know, not only is it an exciting story and are people really going to love it, but it has a really good chance of being successful. We're going to get started here now we'll start with introductions and a lot of you know who we are but just in case uh, we're going to present a film feature length independent crime drama to you guys pre-production was like <laughs> i'm trying to think of a nicer way to say this it was a clusterfuck 